Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another day of learning English with Mr. Ishwar. For today, we are still at module 5, Eating Right. For today, we are going to learn about healthy food. Last week, you did a shopping list whereby you have selected a few ingredients to cook your favorite food. Today, let's learn more about healthy food. I am sure everyone have seen this kind of food pyramid before. This food pyramid shows food that we must take every day and also food that we must eat seldom. Look at the poster. It is stated that we must drink unlimited amount of water to keep our body healthy. We must take a lot of grain as well as vegetables and fruit. Going on top the food pyramid, there are dairies and meat, fish and beans. And at the top of the food pyramid, there are food and drinks that we must take at a small amount or eat seldom, for example, fats, oils, and sweets. So what are the examples of grain foods? Some examples include cereal, noodles, bread, biscuits, cupcake, cookies, and wheat. All these are under the grain category of the food pyramid. What about meat? We have different kind of meat, for example, meat, ribs, chops, sausages, ham and bacon. As for chicken, we have different part of chicken, for example, the wing, thigh, breast and drumstick. Other kind of meat include turkey, Seafoods such as fish, crab, shrimp, as well as tuna. I'm sure you have eaten some of these kinds of meat before. Now we look at the kind of fruits and vegetables that we can select as healthy food. There are a variety of fruits and vegetables. I'm sure there are fruits in here that you eat every day and fruits that you have not seen before. Walk at a supermarket and see if you can find these kind of fruits on the store. Examples of fruits that you might not find or you might not have seen includes avocado, blueberry, as it is not grown in Malaysia. Kiwi is another example. Other fruits that you are familiar with includes banana, orange, papaya, pineapple, and watermelon. As for vegetables, there are a lot of vegetables. Includes artichoke, asparagus, broccoli, cabbage, carrot, corn, cucumber that we put in our nasi lemak, eggplant, green bean, onion, and of course the famous potato that we use to make french fries, pumpkin, and tomato. All these are examples of fruits and vegetables. As for dairy food, we have ice cream, milk, yogurt, cheese, butter, and cultured drink. Example, whitegen, all these falls under the dairy food category. Now that we have known all the categories and the example of the food, let's look at the focus of today's lesson. Healthy plate. What is healthy plate? Healthy plate refers to the components that are needed for you to have a meal. This includes half of the plate 
must include vegetables and fruits. We must choose a variety of colors, for example, green, yellow, orange, and red vegetables and fruits. One over four of our plate must be grain food. As I've mentioned earlier, grain food includes cereals, noodles, bread, and etc. And one four of our plate should include protein. For example, fish, poultry, nut, dairy are ideal sources of protein. And of course, we need to drink enough plain water. We should avoid sugary drinks such as carbonated drinks. It cannot be taken on a daily basis. So this is a healthy plate. Reflect on your meal now. Are you eating healthy? So for today's project, you need to draw your own healthy plate. You can select the type of food from the poster shown at the earlier part of this presentation. For grain, you can select the example from here. For meat and seafood, you can select from here or you can add on more type of meat. As for fruits and vegetables, the choices are here and any addition is also welcome. As for dairy food, we do have the examples here as well for you to refer to. Thus, your project is to draw your own healthy plate and present it to your friends. You can take a photo of it and share it with your friends in our Telegram group. Now, I am going to show you a few examples of healthy plates that you can look into to draw your own healthy plate. One example includes this. We can have a healthy plate like this whereby we can draw their own healthy plate. Just to take note, this healthy plate is for vegetarians. Who are vegetarians? Vegetarians refers to people who do not take meat. Thus, you can see at the protein part, they do not have meat, but they have replaced it with other food that is rich in protein. For example, nuts and beans. So if you are vegetarian, you can have your own vegan plate. However, if you are not a vegetarian, you can have something like this. You can have a plate that you have vegetables, fruits, grains, protein, as well as dairy. You can have more than one food in each type in your plate. So, I will be looking forward to see your own healthy plate. If you have any questions, please ask me at any time. Thank you very much. I will be waiting for your product.